Hi guys, me and Japan Athlete. Today we'll be painting my Tyranid's Lieutenant. Well, actually, he's a prim Primaris Lieutenant, but I'm calling him my Tyranid's Lieutenant because he's got attributes of the Tyranid. You'll see why in the, sh in, in the video. This is guys from Leviathan Box. Let's get straight into it. Now, like and subscribe. Links down the below. You know this. Let's get straight into it. Here with my Leviathan. With my new Leviathan ter Lieutenant, I'm call I'm giving him codename Tyranid Lieutenant. As you can see with the model, I start with a dry brushing of white as I do with all my models. I even did it with my v even with my Dreadnought. The white dry brush gives the gives a base coat and texture and leaves the darker sections dark. It just helps in the long run with shading and things like that, which I do not technically do. Personally, I feel like they're a waste of time, but I have seen the results in doing it. I just dry brush all the spots that need every part of it as much as I can, leaving the um, recesses dark. And as you can see, it looks all right. For now, I start with painting with blue. I use a crystal blue from the Army Painters range and paint the gun, the backpack, and his um, knee pad and his knee sections of his um, armor. It's not a lot of blue, but it's enough blue to give it characteristics. A lot of people would say, "Why don't you use color certain sections of it a, a full blue?" I say no, I just like to pick up the smallest details as it is not because these are snow wolves and it would be very weird to have a, a really blue soldier running around in a blizzard. And here you are seeing me doing flesh tones on his head. I use barbarian flesh. I'll have a um list of colours on the um at the end of the video before the reveal. Here I use grenades, I use this army green for the grenades and everything. I know realistically, um, Warhammer grenades are, are either gun metal or silver. I don't like it, and here you can see I'm painting the car the black carapace of the of my Tyranid, the Ironbacks. I'll get in more into them on when I do the Tyranid videos in the future. So I start with the matte black with the Tyranid, just getting it all over. I do not know the name of the, um, I believe it's Neuro Tyranage, I do not know. Here you can see me using brown for all the leather on the, um, model. It is quite, it is quite an enjoyable, enjoyable process when I paint brown and leathers. I personally enjoy it. And this model had a lot of leather in it, and I'm a big fan of the leather brown, so it worked out well. I take the smaller sections and just paint those as it is. I do apologize. I do need a better stance in my camera. It doesn't show the best view, but it shows a good enough view. So here I am just painting all the leather straps and everything that hold the um, carapace to the marine. And with that... This one, this marine, I would as a lieutenant. I believe I've. I'm gonna set as he's. And he's been either dumped into the um war zone by his by his um sergeant, and basically said, "You are scout, do the job." And here you are seeing me doing all the blades and everything. I do not mind the blades. And personally, I would have done a bit more, edging to them, but. For the classic 40k, it works well. You can see I'm doing the gun, the gun, the guns metal parts, the gun metal parts. Again, I do enjoy these the painting process. A lot of people do. Personally, I find it very therapeutic to do. It's um a lot of fun to be honest. A lot of people don't see painting as fun. If you take the time and see the progress go forth, you can re you can really show how much enjoyable the painting is. 
I would show it a bit better if I was smarter in producing my camera better. But at the current moment, I've got a mounted, well, camera mount that's currently stuck to a bookshelf. So I can't really move it that well. It would be better if, yeah, here I am just doing touch up. Yeah, I just do touch ups with all the white bits that I've missed or I've added color to. It just adds a um, better layer. With that, I stick it on, show it off. Here I do all the bones and everything on it, the skulls and everything. If you've watched my videos before, you would notice I'd like to paint the skulls of um, any skull on the figure in a, bo a skeleton bone. As it, personally, I find it much more interesting to the color. Here you can see me using um, gunmetal on the carapace of the Tyranage carapace. You'll understand why I do that in, when I do the um, Tyranage video. Yeah, I'm just picking up all the little bits of my dry brush that break. It, it's a really bad dry brush. I need to get a better one. But yeah, I just touch up a silver, a silver edge on most of the parts. As my t as my um, space marines do not use gold or like bronze, as most um, inquis not inquisitory imperial um, troops use, they use bronze and everything. I don't, I don't like. I do I do enjoy it with certain color schemes, but this my one it doesn't work, so I don't use it. Here you can see me using a different strategy. I'm using a um. I'm just using this, I believe, I can't remember what color it was, as um, Tyranage Blood. I personally think, well, for the, for my Tyranage, it works well. I do not actually know the color of Tyranage Blood. If you do know, let me know in the comments. But yes. Here you can see I bent up an old brush I have to um, add blood splatter to his... Do this soldier's face. Here you can see I use pure white for the um, eyes. As I'm not very good at painting eyes, so I tend to avoid them. And how I do that is with a massive glow effect. Which is jungle gr the army paint jungle green on pure white to give it glowing eyes. I prefer the glowing eyes anyway. It saves me from doing detail eye work as I have a sh really shaky hands. So... Doing detail work like that, it, it's a good workaround. Here I'm just doing the slashes on the lieutenant's head. I didn't do them very well, so I, I believe I painted over them. Yeah, here I am just painting over it. Didn't work out, so I just paint over it. Just doing fix-up on any parts that I, did, I missed. Yeah, just doing touch-ups and fix-ups. Any area I've missed, I just go back and just redo it. I have had a lot of people question why I turn my hand handle upside down. It just works for me. And here is me. Clean, I'm just clean, just clean up. I believe I come back again. Yeah, I come back and need a fix-up and add um, a wash. I apply this wash um, actually by brushing it on. When I usually use an airbrush, I it gave me different results, which I actually will probably have to I'll probably follow in the future. I do like the um wash, like just dab along with the wash and get to nice into the um recesses and defines the parts a lot better with a black line. So I will be using painting on the washes from now on. I do not know if Army Painter um actually intends for that. I do not know if it is. Well, I'm was unaware, and therefore my quality in results to that. And here I am painting the, I believe Neuro Titan, and uh, not Neuro Titan, Neuro Tyranage. I do not know the actual name for it. If anyone does, 
let me know and I will correct myself in the next video. Here's this cleanup and yeah just cleaning up bits and yeah here's ma here's where I put a varnish a matte varnish on it to seal up all the paint work as I am a klutz and tend to rub it off which is not helpful when you do when you do this kind of work so I had a matte varnish I do need to get more so I'll have to find some near me but yeah just using the armor pa army painter range um anti I believe it's anti shine varnish your yeah, anti sign matte varnish, yeah. Here you can see me f using my custom water decals I made. If you guys wish to know how to make water decals, leave a comment, ask for it. I'm more than happy to show you guys how to do it. Um, I can leave links for you, easiest way to do it, and show you how I do it. I've had to do it a few times as I've used very small amounts but personally I do believe custom um, water decals work so well for this and with it I just seal it in with a matte with a matte varnish and then boom it's in it works like a treat it looks amazing here are the colours I used, Mummy Rose, Matte White, black, Matte Black, Oak Brown, yeah, you'll get it all, Listening Bird, Flesh Tone, and Dark Tone. There's the matte, there's the, um, what did you care? Here's, here's the reveals. If you'd like this kind of content, let me know, I can more than happy to do more. If you guys want more lore based, um, like more of lore over, um, voiceovers, about the snowball's law, I'm more than happy to do that. Let me know in the comments. If you do not like this type of video, please let me know in the comments so I can improve and make it better for you. Hi guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video and enjoyed my my tyranage lieutenant. I personally enjoy the painting on these guys and I personally love the crystal blue I've used on him. If you guys like this video type of video, comment down below, like, subscribe. Just show this channel some love. It it really helps. Hope you got to see you guys in the next video. See you then.